G'day Oz Trackers, here we are with one of the newest lineups of the Oz Track range, the Tanami X11. Packed full of features, still all the good gear in there with full ensuite, full king bed, a load of storage, reverse cycle air conditioning, awnings, full annex, the whole lot. Let's have a look around. As you know, down the front we have a great storage box in here. Room in there for a couple of gas bottles, nines or four and a half. Double hose regulator there, so flick the switch that changes that bottle over for you. You've got loads of storage in there, plenty of room to put some jerry cans in there if you need them. Moving around the front here, loads of space in there for a fridge, a, a fridge vent in there with a fan, a heap of ventilation through there. Electric step of course that comes up and down as you press the button. We've got a beautiful bar area in here, there's a TV and DVD player inside, you can move that outside and it mounts up here and plugs in there for you, wired straight into the aerial on the roof for you and a beautiful little bar area or storage area there for you. Famous Oztrack kitchen, uh, very user friendly, very simple to use, a whole lot of space, lots of platforms and preparation areas to get everything sorted out. You have a nice big platform here. It also doubles as a windbreak, swings around for you into those couple of holes, mounts there. That keeps you out of the wind on a day like today when we've got so much wind sitting here. You've got a whole lot of uh, protection there to keep everything nice and warm for you. Of course, our drainage rack, spice rack there, it goes straight in and you've got a whole lot of room. Extension bench out the end. There's a leg that goes under that to support that as well. Um, full cutlery drawer in there, utility drawer in there. It's all really easy to go. And of course, another light there. A full light there shines over the rest of the kitchen. Really good user-friendly kitchen. Moving around the back here, we've got 240 volt power on the outside of the camper to plug straight into, 12 volt accessory as well as double USB, and of course a couple little plugs in here to ignite, set up that igniter on your stove and that additional light for your stove area. You've got two gas bayonets out there, one obviously is for your kitchen, the second one is so you can put a barbecue down on that platform there and uh, have your barbecue running while you're cooking at the same time. Moving around the back. As always, we've got dual recovery hitches in there. You've got a bike receiver hitch in there if you want to take your bike for a, go for a pedal while you're out and about camping. We do a single spare on the 11. Heaps of window space, plenty of good light inside the camper. All the windows, of course, come with uh, the midgy screens as well as a privacy screens, so you can block out that sunlight if you want to have a snooze in the morning. Down the other side here, we're still running two water tanks with mains pressure inlet as well, so you can hook up your mains water pressure straight in there and run off your mains. You've got your 15 amp inlet there, so you plug your lead into that, that'll run through that Enerdrive system inside, keep everything charged up and, and going as you need it. Full outdoor shower, you've got a nice shower tent that comes out here, quite a big thing, sits right out here. And of course you can grab that shower, have a nice shower if you're on the beach or anywhere like that, you want to get rid of the mud off you before you go inside and use that nice ensuite inside, use that outdoor shower and uh, get yourself clean and tidy. Down the front, a whole lot of storage in there, whether you use it to put all your canvases that come with the camper, as I said, it does have the full enclosed annex. You've got a little uh, storage area in there for that pole bag or anything else you want to put in there as well. And of course, that's your toilet cassette, so you can remove that and empty that out when you need to for your ensuite. That brings us back around the front. Let's uh, have a look inside, eh? All right, and here we are inside the 11 footer. And I'll tell you what, for a, a smaller range of uh, hybrid camper, it is packed full of gear. We've got a nice big king bed here. We've got a whole lot of bedside storage with magazine racks, lights, WSB, 12 volt accessory on both sides of the camper. As I said, all of your windows have privacy screen on one side, mozzie screen on the other. You can do whatever you need to do with them. Got a nice big set of drawers in here. A nice cupboard there, two good bench tops, TV, DVD, a whole lot of storage in the front. Reverse cycle air conditioning, uh, TV aerial up here, smoke alarm, a nice vent in the roof, which has all got lights, LED lights throughout the camper. Mate, everything is here that you possibly could ever want packed into an 11 footer and it is still quite roomy. And here we are on the inside of the Tanami X11 still. A whole lot of storage up the front as I mentioned earlier. You've got a full size ensuite in here, just like the rest of our campers. Toilet, shower, vanity, mirror, full set of shower there. You've got heaps of room to get in there. Let's have a look. 
whole lot of room in here. You can have a good shower in there. You've got tons of space. What a great little 11 footer, jam packed full of gear. You can take this anywhere, be very comfortable. It's home away from home. I love it. When you're talking about power and sustainability, this Tanami X11 has everything. Powered by the Enerdrive system, we've got a full 2000 watt inverter there with automatic transfer, a nice big 40 amp charger which has constant power also, power feed for you. Teamed up with those two 100 amp hour AGM batteries, you've got plenty of power here. Still got the 200 watts of solar panel on the roof to keep you going, which is fully regulated and keeps you going no matter where you are. So the Tanami X11 has everything you want in it. You've got your 200 watts of solar, you've got your inner drive system which is going to give you power no matter what you're doing. You can pack it full of gear and pretty much go anywhere. Still a full off-road van, a ton of space in there for a fridge. It's good to go. Perfect for those people who just want to get away by themselves, just the two of them. Or it's got that full annex as well if you want to bring the kids, tow a nice lightweight camper and get away for the weekend. Or a week, or a month, it's all you. Enjoy it.